Hey everybody, my name's Peggy and I'm here with the Apollo team at API World. We've been having so many great conversations with hundreds of engineers and API architects about their API strategy. So many wonderful conversations with people looking to learn more, asking a lot of great questions, and we've been doing a lot of listening too. So this is a recreation of the Spotify application. And this actually uses all of Spotify's REST API as the data source underneath it. The nice thing about GraphOS is it's really easy for us to integrate with our other data sources and stuff out there. We have our graph fully integrated. So all of the authentication, everything is all coming right through here. All of this is working off real data. So like just like this, this is coming back from Spotify, but that little pause button that's happening. We can run that from right here in Explore and you could hear the music stopped, right? This is actually the subscription that's running that's streaming that live data into it, right? So as a client developer, I can try everything out. I can start building out the queries, the operations I want, all the GraphQL stuff right at my fingertips. We also have some talks. So later today on the main stage, Dan Berner is going to be giving a keynote, uh, just giving you a really nice intro into GraphQL. We also have a VP of engineering from Major League Baseball talking about how they implemented GraphQL in their apps. What is it about you know, GraphQL that lets you try to solve that problem? So it moves a lot of that business logic from the client up into the server level. That way you could write the business logic in the presentation layer there and then all the clients can reuse it. And that way you're not running into the same mistakes every time you rewrite an app. And then you have one central place so that each app is consistent from one to another. Now, this is an architecture we've seen multiple enterprises, large companies, Wayfair, Intuit, US Bank, lots of really large production employments be successful with this architecture. And what it really boils down to is teams are exposing GraphQL inside of their APIs, right? And this now starts giving us a pattern where there's one way to consume data in the organization. You can bolt GraphQL onto your existing APIs, your existing world, today. GraphQL does make your APIs better. I don't know, wrap it up. <laughs>